Color Hunt. Click the first link that pops up and it would automatically direct you to the website. So in my collection, I have already a few color palettes that I have saved and in order for you to do that, you have to click the heart button from the color palettes in the website. After, I went to the font.com in order for me to download aesthetic fonts that I can use for my notes. So for example, I have Winkle and you just have to click the download button and it would automatically download and you could use it immediately in your Microsoft Word. So as you can see here, I'm just typing some other aesthetic fonts that you can use. Then I went to Microsoft Word to start doing my notes. So first I adjusted my layouts and I chose the A4 size of the paper. And I also custom my margins because I'm going to use the page for my binder. So you can follow my settings if you want. After my layouts, I went straight to the shapes area and I chose the shape that I would want to use on top of the page. After selecting the shape, I just placed it and I did some little adjustments. So in order to color the shape, I went back to color hunt and I went to the color palette of my choice and after which I copied the color code of the color that I would want to use on this specific shape and double clicked on the shape and in the format shape in the fill area I clicked the color part and I just placed the color code from color hunt so I went to the line area and clicked no line to remove the line of the shape and then I went to add a text box because I would want to put a text on top of the shape. So for example, you can follow me. I wrote their course code module one. So I double clicked on the text box and in the shape options, I clicked no fill and no line. And for the text options, I went to the color part. And again, I copied the color code from color hunt and I pasted it there. Okay, so since it doesn't look so pleasing to the eyes, I decided to change the font style to Winkle and I also adjusted the size of the text. And because the shape color does not really match, I decided to change it to a lighter shade of pink. So there you go, it looks better this way. and. I'm just adjusting it and then I went and added another shape so this time the shape that I used was a cloud and I double clicked on it clicked on theme colors and I copied the color code from color hunt and clicked no line so that's basically the exact same process of what I did a while ago in order to make the shape look aesthetically pleasing to the eyes. So here I'm adding another shape and this one is for the title of the page. So after adding the shape, I added a text box so that it would have a text on top of the shape. So in the shape options, I just clicked no fill and no line in order to erase the white background from the text box. So I changed the font style to Winkle again and I also changed the font size. So after doing that, I adjusted it some more and decided to change the color of the text by copying the color code from Color Hunt again and changing the color in the text options so that is basically how you do it with adding the text box and removing the white background from the text box um, filling in the color of the shape and removing the shadows and the lines of the shape that you have chosen so for your actual notes you just have to add a text box and as you can see here, I'm writing notes for reference that 
this is the portion of the page where you can already start doing your notes and for the heading or for the title of each topic just add another text box and repeat the same process of how i did the topic portion a while ago so yeah basically um i would just fast forward this to um, let you see the entire process of how i completed the entire page So to save your document, you just have to click the word template file format and save. Now I'm going to show you how I used my templates in order for me to make actual school notes. So here the topic that I was doing was contrast agents and as you can see my notes look absolutely better and they are more engaging because of the different colors and they look very very beautiful so it doesn't seem like I'm reading something boring. So this is the final output or my final notes for template number one and as you can see it looks very very pleasing to the eyes. So next up I would be showing you another template that I did so it's also up to you how many templates you would want to do. Just follow the same steps and just play with the different shapes available and the different font styles, the different colors and for sure it would turn out really really beautiful and it would make your notes um, better to look at. So this is me um, trying to show you the actual notes for my second template. So as you can see, I'm just writing it down and yeah, after which I'm going to show you the end process or the final product of this um, page. and as you can see it looks very very engaging and it doesn't look boring at all so i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and please support my channel and hit the notification bell till bye